has got to be one of the greatest tests ever found in the Bible. Genesis 22, when God tested Abraham. And you know what the result of this test was? God went off and he started blessing Abraham like crazy. He said to him, because you've done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, in blessing I will bless you and multiplying I will multiply the descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. God just went off and he blessed Abraham to be the father of nations because on one afternoon, Abraham passed the test of, I'm not going to give you the name yet, it's coming in just a second. But let me have fun with the story. God says to Abraham, take now, now your son, your, son, your, your only, only son, son whom you, you love. love. Isn't that just like God? Let's take the word son out and put uh there. Take now take your now uh, your uh, only uh, uh, whom you love. you love. You know that you have a uh, uh everyone has a uh. uh. For some people, it's their car. For some people, it's their girlfriend. For some people, it's their clothes. For some people, it's their appearance. For some people, it's their iPod or their iPad or their iPhone or their I love this thing. That is what people love. And if you love it, God wants it. Because he's a meanie. Not, it's because it's a test. It's a test of, I'm not going to give you the name yet. So God said to Abraham, take now your son, your only son, whom you love. Let's say it with that kind of rhythm. Take now your, mm, your only, mm, whom you love. Everybody, take now your, mm, your only, mm, whom you love. You see, everybody's got a, mm, and you've got to trust that God, when he asks for it, is testing you. And so Abraham rose early in the next morning. I would have slept in. He split his own wood. I would have found someone else to do it. He loaded up his Chevrolet, I mean his donkey, and he headed up the mountain. And I'm convinced God's watching from heaven going, no way, he's actually doing it. He's an early rising, donkey saddling, wood splitting patriarch. This guy's doing it. So God starts speaking to a ram. And he says to the ram, ram. And the ram says, God says, take your horns to the top of the mountain. There's a man up there who's getting ready to sacrifice his son. And the ram says, okay. So he starts heading up the mountain. The ram thinks, what do I do when I get to the top? God says, find a thicket. It's like a heavy bush, a thicket, and get caught in the thicket. And the ram is like, okay, I'm going to find a and when they get to the top of the mountain, Abraham had already put his son on the altar and he tied him down because young people have a tendency to change their minds even when they're young like you. He tied him down and he takes the knife and he's about ready to put it into his son and God says, Abraham, Abraham. He told him to stop. And meanwhile, a ram is trying to find a thicket and the ram gets caught in the thicket. The Bible doesn't say this, but I'm wondering if Isaac says, Oh, wow, that was closeth. I'm still aliveth. I didn't dieth. Hearkeneth. I hear a rameth. He's caught in the thicketeth. They run over, and there's the ram caught in a thicket. They bring the ram back. They put the ram on the altar, and they sacrifice the ram. It was at that point that God said, because you've done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only mm, that you love, I will bless you. It's because it's a test. It's a test of... I'm not going to give you the name yet.